how to make them see the upfront value in just a quick audit. We can answer this by knowing this thing. So yun nga, things you need to know before doing the auditing. Ito yung criteria guys. Alright, so yun, let's start. Ano nga ba yung nasa desired call to action? Ano yung criteria natin dun? Ano yung kailangan natin tingnan? So number one, we have to ask ourselves, how easy is, their bo uh, is the button to understand? Mabilis ba siyang maintindihan? Paano ba yun? Like, ano yung instruction sa button? Nagla uh, nakalagay lang ba na submit? Or sinabi na sign up? Or maybe download the freebie? Mga ganun. Next is, how visible is it? Yung iba naman is, yun nga, pag naglalagay sila ng buy now button, yung ginagawa nila is, hindi siya masyadong visible. Minsan, parang lang siyang link. Or, yun nga, hindi siya full colored button. So, kaya, if makikita nyo na yung button nila is, is mas nag-stand out pa yung ibang image, like, you'd have to tell them na hindi visible yung button nila. So, they need to make sure na nag-stand out yung button. Yan yung kailangan yung tingnan lang when you are looking at their call to action. Yan yung number one na titingnan call to action. How easy is it to understand? And then, the next is how visible is it? So, yun, proceed tayo. Now, Persuasive design layout. So, yung question mo lang dito is, does it follow the 4P framework layout? So, yun, ano nga ba yung 4P framework layout? Eto, nagpa-follow siya sa ganitong layout. Number one, my header or headline plus call to action. Next is social proof. So, bakit header, call to action, ta social proof kaagad? Kasi, yung goal natin is to let the prospect see na credible ka agad yung landing page. Kaya diretsyo, da, uh, diretsyo ka agad sa social proof. The next is the before state and then the after state. May mga ano, um, customers na ito yung tinatawag natin na ano, na may mga doubts. Hindi naman trust issues but may doubts. Doubts sa product ng, ng client mo and at the same time, doubts sa sarili nila kung tama, tama ba yung gagawin nila. So, kailangan na meron din copy or a little bit of background kung ano ba yung before state. When we say before state na ano ba yung mga na-struggle nila. Kailangan andyan yan. Yung, yung current struggle ng, ng mga target audience. And then yung after state. Paano yung magiging itsura nila or paano yung magiging effect sa kanila if they use the product or if they buy the course. Say for example, if I'm gonna be selling a course on how to create a landing page from zero background um, doing landing page down to alam na alam yung ano yung tools na gagamitin and then alam na alam paano isasubmit sa client ano yung deliverables yun yung before state and then the after state the next is statistics for credibility and then social media post again these are used for social proofing lang guys kasi yun nga they are either doubting the product that your client is offering or they are doubting if they're gonna be doing the right choice. So, yung goal natin is for them to see na ito yung stats, ito yung mga feedback ng ibang tao when they bought the product. So, yun. Social proofing yung tawag dyan. Pati customer reviews, guys. Um, and also, mas effective yung uh, maglalagay kayo ng reviews na hindi lang text. More on, ano, more on videos. And sometimes then mas nag-work din yung yung mga, what do you call this? Yung mga images na parang in-screenshot lang yung, yung comment section sa Facebook. Yung mga ganun, or nag-post sa Facebook timeline. Kahit parang pangit siya tingnan, pero nag-convert yun. So, yun. Then next is yung final call to action and then the footer. So, yun guys. Yung final to call to action is, yun, ibabalik mo lang kung paano nila makukuha yung product mo. So, it's just a reminder para hindi na sila mag-scroll up. Even though they are on mobile, hindi na sila mag-scroll up. And then, even though they are on desktop, hindi na sila mag-scroll up. So, yan yung purpose ng final call to action. And then, yung footer, like yung mga copyright, um, privacy policy, and stuff like that. Three burning questions that needs to be answered by the landing page. Okay? So... Guys, just a heads up, yung titingnan nyo naman dito, kasi ito na yung pinaka-importante, when you are auditing a specific landing page or a landing page of your prospect, is that kailangan mong basahin and then 
tingnan mo talaga ng maigi yung sales copy nila. Kasi uh, yung mga nangyayari talaga sa ano, sa mga landing page just ano, just an observation and then just based uh, based din sa experience is that yung iba naglalagay sila ng copy and then yung image nila hindi related dun sa copy. So diyan pa lang may problema na. So if yung audience nila is visual tapos hindi nagme-make sense yung image and hindi nag hindi din nagma-match yung nasa copy, hindi ka mag-expect na magko-convert yun, di ba? Hindi yun magsa-sign up kung confusing yung image mo and then yung copy mo. Kaya kailangan mo din tingnan kung yung copy nila nagmamatch sa image nila. And at the same time, kailangan din natin i-remember na lahat ng business guys, lahat na yan, kahit ano pa yan, kahit tayong mga freelancers, we are not actually selling service, we are actually selling relationship and transformation. What do I mean? From their landing page, not getting sign-ups, down to getting more signups and that's specifically transformation right so again we are selling transformation and then the relationship with the client yung first question na kailangan i-answer ng specific landing page is what's in it for me kung ako yung target audience what would i get from looking at this landing page or reading um reading the text on this landing page ano yung makukuha ko yan yung kailangan i-answer yung frequently asked questions. And meron tayong five things na kailangan i-consider para masabi na transformation siya. Okay? Like for example, um, have, uh, eto pala sila, have, feel, average day, status, good versus evil. For example, nasa feel tayo na copy. From feeling frustrated down to feeling relieved. Okay? Pilitin natin. Sabihin natin, pagpapaligo na lang ng bata or baby. From, ano, from being overwhelmed, dahil nga ang likot ng bata, down to feeling relieved na mabilis lang paliguan yung bata. So, yun yung ano, yun yung parang binebenta. Kasi transformation yun. So guys, when when the copy is written in this way, like yung have, feel, average, day, status, good versus evil, kahit ito pa lang yung i-optimize ng client nyo sa landing page nila, it will convert. And hindi mo kailangan actually maging copywriter para makita mo yung mga ganitong bagay. Last question na kailangan ma-answer ng landing page is does it work? And it's very, very simple. Yung ginagawa lang dito is um, posting testimonials. Yun lang, posting testimonial, social proof, mga logos, and stuff like that. And wala pa siguro akong nakitang client na hindi pa, or landing page na hindi pa nakapagbigay ng, um, ng testimonial or mga logo na associated sila. So, if merong, ano, merong three burning questions and yung pinakamadaling ma-answer, yung does it work? Pero sumesemp lang most uh, most clients, sumesemplang sila sa what's in it for me, and then is it for me na question.